WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is Monday, November the 6th. Basil Chapman for the Tiger Financial News Network Market Update at 10 a.m. Dow's up 14 at 34,076. Really strong moves. We've had the two gaps. And my anticipation was for subscribers to my opening call that we should see some kind of a consolidation over the next day or so, maybe going into Tuesday, starting maybe late today or late tomorrow and going into Wednesday. But there should be a peak, A formed very soon. We made a fractional new high, so this continues the, the leg A in the Dow, uh, the S&P at this particular point has not quite made it to Friday's heights at the, the it's at 4366 up eight pretty good action when you consider what's going on uh, with that massive move up last week uh, some kind of consolidation could be anticipated how deep is really the question I'll go into that in my show QQQs are trading also very nicely up one at 1.30 at 368.95, that's just extended that leg A from Friday with a, a slightly higher high. It's in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Oh, I forgot to mention, so is the Dow, INDU, let me just do that. Yep, right in that zone. It's just to the outer edge. The, the IWM had a very good move up on Friday. It's pulling back today down a dollar and a quarter at 173.19. Now, here's the issue. Can gold maintain this? High level consolidation because gold, I mean, with geopolitical conflagration going on, gold is usually the play. So gold is holding well. And we did see the GDX on Friday actually have a decent move to the upside. It's down a little bit today at 29.45, got repelled at the 200 period moving average. The dollar did close under the uh, Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. And it gave uh, the an S, which means that the it's in a sell signal, almost at a sell mode, but a sell signal, we'll go with that for the moment. Going to the bonds, uh, bonds right now are down almost a point at 112 and 23, 30 seconds. And if you go to crude oil, crude oil is just steady in the lower range. The support is at 79.23 at the 200 period moving average on the continuous contract. And it's about three points above at 82.13 up at $1.61. I'll be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. Basil Chapman, waiting to see you for the next hour coming up because this is going to be really important to start off a new week after a spectacular week last week. See you in a few moments.